Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. It's me, Taurus T. Yesterday I was making a um, video and my daughter Lexi called me, so I had to take that call. Uh, <clears throat> it's like my voice is still, you know, gone, but it's doing a little bit better. <clears throat> yeah, but anyway, um, like I said yesterday, a lot of things have been happening. That's why I haven't really been posting any videos. If y'all hear the bell, I'm parked right here across from my um, church. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been kind of like um, busy. Busy uh, dealing with, um, you know, life, health issues. Uh, you know, just getting my health back on track. Um, yeah, um, if y'all see me, it kind of stains my shirt, but eat some, uh, ice cream, yeah, and also to, uh, um, to, on today's channel, I want to do, like, a little, uh, a story time today, um, mm. Okay, uh, for, I always say this, I live in Chicago, right? And I've been living here my whole life. And I grew up here. Um, also, uh, went to school, uh, first public school. And then my mom, um, she transferred me out. I think I was in the fifth grade. So yeah, um, uh, I started Holy Angels Catholic School, um, going into my sixth uh, grade year. Um, and, you know, as any kid, I was kind of nervous uh, going to a new school because I been at the school, public school, Doolittle West and East. You know, I've been there, you know, going to school there for my whole life. Um, everybody knew you know, me, you know, growing up, or probably when I was in my mom's belly, because, you know, people were still working there, you know, was older, so, I mean, I just, it was just like a family, so, everybody knew everybody, so, when my mom decided to move me out of the public school system, put me into Catholic, at the time, I didn't understand why, I still don't know why she did it, but it was her reasoning, her choice at that time. So, okay, I had to go along with it. And you know, plus two, I didn't um I didn't like wearing skirts. I was a tomboy then. I gotta get used to you know, talking when people pass me back and they be looking at me like I'm crazy. So I'm sorry about the ball. <laughs> that was weird. But anyway, um, yeah, I was a tomboy and I didn't like wearing skirt dresses. So it was like, oh my God, my mom making me go to this school where I had to wear a skirt. So I'm like, I didn't have no choice but I had to, you know, you know, go. But I remember the first day of school, you know, waking up nervous, you know, um, a little bit excited too. Um, I, me and my brother, he's older than me. Well, we the youngest, but he older than me. Um, so, um, you know, we got dressed, put on there. I bet the first day the bullying started. Now. When I say bullying, I didn't get hit because I would hit back. Uh, it was more so um, being called, you know, nasty names. Um, you know, as far as my hygiene, which it wasn't nothing wrong with it. It was, um, well, I, I'm in, I don't know if anybody, um, my mother 
you know, I don't know what was going on with her. Now, she had a very clean home. Um, that was not the problem. It was that she never opened windows in the summertime. So, it was like, it was, uh, how can I put it? It was like, it, it, the house was starting to sweat. And then this, the walls was sweaty and then it turned into like mildew then it just started to have a smell to it and i mean what can i do at 11 years old you know it, it to the point that we got immune to it and it was to the point where people she was working at a public school you know the school i came from which was do little west you know people was you know saying that she was even stinking, but my mother, you know, took care of herself. But it was the home that it is just, it was just unbelievable. So just imagine going to school. I mean, I did everything. We had a washing machine. <clears throat> we didn't have a dryer because we lived in the project. I lived at Ida B. Wells. And, um, yeah, it 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 was just horrible. I did everything, you know. Uh, I hated, dreaded going to school. I even let her know, you know, what was going on. Uh, she told me to, uh, you know, ignore them, uh, ignore the devils, and. I ain't going to school for gospel. I'll go with, I'm going to school to learn. It was really hard to talk to her, you know, because she was just very religious. You know, I mean, what can I do? But, yeah, it was just so horrible. We go on field trips. They embarrassed me, calling me stinky, um, holding their hands over their nose. You know, man, I used to come home crying, you know. I asked her, could she transfer me out of there? And, no, I endured that for three years. My sixth grade, my seventh grade, and my eighth grade. It was just horrible. And, um, man, I mean, those kids, you know, I mean, you know, they was we was children, but that was just something I would never have done to anyone, you know. But you know, hell, the kids be kids, but you know, when I became a mother, I no, it, that wasn't happening. No, I would never. And my child came home and said something like that, or it would have been corrected right away. But, you know, I don't know. I had two friends, you know, there that told me, oh, do this, do that. Put some perfume in the um, washing machine water. Man, I did all of that. It was just the smell of my mom's house. It just wouldn't go away. It didn't matter what I did, shower. It didn't matter. It was still going to be there, you know. And, yeah, I don't know. It, and it's just as years, you know, and then like, this to top it off. We let's move it to um, my eighth grade year. Well, I'm jumping a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Like we do. Now, I don't know if people remember Holy Angel and some people that live in Chicago and watching this video. Um, you know, Holy Angels had the, um, the big you know, uh, performance at the Eric Crown Theater every year. And it was just, you know, practicing with these kids, it was just, re it was just, it was bad for me because, you know, they never want to sit next to me. And then, you know, we go on field trip, they made it obvious to other schools and other people sitting in the audience, we go to plays, they made it obvious to other people that, you know, 
that, you know, they felt I could smell stinky, like you do. And it just, I, it was like, I can't say that I hated them, but it was a, I couldn't stand them. I wanted to knock the fuck out of them, you know. Every time each one of them would you just say something. I really wanted to. But in fear of my mother, you know, getting in trouble. Because, oh. But it kind of taught me, too, you know, as when I, you know, like, man, it, it, you know, you just probably had to just turn the other cheek and keep it moving, you know, and and by that being the Catholic school, you know, they ain't play about fighting or anything like that. So I endured that. You know, you, <laughs> I had to be hella patient, you know, to endure that. Plus, you know, the life that was going on at home. And I'm not saying my mom is a bad mom. She, oh, no. She wasn't that. It was just she was, you know, dealing with her own issue that, you know, even though she's deceased, you know, and I'm sorry that I'm jumping, you know, out of stories into something else, you know, work with me here. But you now I'm saying she was a bad mom, but, you know, I don't know her, her, you know, way of, you know, how she was brought up or what happened to her before she came, you know, a parent to me, you know. And that, I mean, I had good times with her, the times she was vulnerable, that I saw her true self. You know, but, yeah. But anyway, um, it's just, you know, the fact that it went on for three years, six, seven, eight grade. And, man, I just can remember it, it was just horrible. I, I didn't have a good, you know, um, experience at that school. I didn't. You know, and and I don't even remember the two friends that I had. I was friends with, but yeah, kudos to them. I, it, it's a shame that I don't remember because the spirit was so bad that I don't even remember those two young ladies. Man, that's something else. Hmm. But um, eighth grade year. Let's move it to eighth grade year. Um, 19, I graduated from Holy Angel in 1991. Man, now here's go the final finale. Now, during the whole, you know, eighth grade practices, you know, we I, we was practicing at the, you know, because in my, my year, 1991, that's when the new church, Holy Angel Church, they built it. You know, I used to watch, look outside my own um, school window. Um, and I seen that church being built. So, in 1991, you know, they opened up the church, and we was the first graduated class, of, I believe so, of that year to graduate from. Did we graduate from that church? I don't think we graduated from that church. Uh-uh, I don't think we had, we had other ceremonies over there but I don't think we graduated we graduated from St. Philip Neri. Yeah, I think it was big enough to hold all the, you know, graduated class and I believe that's how I went. I, I really too much can remember. But anyway, um I remember, you know, doing practices, you know, they wanna say nice to me. They was just being nasty, calling me names, thinking, you know. Just being just obnoxious and just evil. And um so here come eighth grade. All our parents are there. So I guess they was on best behavior because their parents was there, but me, I was terrified. I said, Oh my god, they're gonna embarrass me in front of all these parents. They ain't gonna say nice to me. Oh, they're not gonna, cause at you know during graduation, uh, when we, at coming to the end of the graduation, we had to, you know, each row had to turn to the side and be like, 
we are facing, you know, each row, I think we're facing horizontal or I, I don't know how you want to call it, sideways, but you had to bend there to understand what I'm saying. Um, and then we come out and we hug each other, right? Now, during practice, they didn't want to do that. It was just so stupid. I felt just ignorant. And yes, I'm saying it because it could be some watching the video, but yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous, you know. But, I mean, they was kids. I mean, it's it just still, it's just, no. My experience with that school was, oh my God. But, so, graduation day, guys, when I say the kid did a whole three fucking 60, oh, the hugging and the crying and I couldn't believe it. it was my turn to come up to hug the person. I, I stood there frozen for a second. They just grabbed and hugged me. I'm like, oh my God, really? I said, oh my God. I'm like, oh my God. I made it. I got to the end with no embarrassment, no nothing. So it was just ridiculous, but just imagine a kid had to stay quiet for three years. You know, I asked my mom for help. You know, she would tell me to turn the other cheek. You know, they talked about Jesus. And, you know, and I say, if I become a mom, I will never do that to my children. My kids tell me that they are feeling, I mean, uncomfortable. Another child is making my child uncomfortable. <clears throat> yeah, I, I was snapped. And, you know, and I became a young mother, you know, that's a different, another story time, but um, I became, a, a, you know, a mother and, and I would be, I would damn if, you know, my kids, you know, was going to ever experience anything I experienced as a, you know, child going to school and being bullied because my home, you know, <clears throat> you know, was the way it was. And I'm not saying I lived in a dirty home because I didn't. My home was very clean. It's just that my mother was just paranoid that someone was going to climb to the second floor window and break in. Why she sitting in the, I mean, you're not saying that it don't happen. It does. And we lived in the projects, but everybody knew everybody. So well, nobody want to break into my mom's house. When they were in the summertime, a lot of people sitting outside you know, in front of the building. She in the window all the time. So, ain't nobody, everybody knew, you know, my mom, and ain't nobody wants them to try that. But I don't know, my mom was dealing with things, you know, mental, I believe. And, yeah, but I just say when I became a parent, you know, I, I will never let that happen to my kids, you know. Never, and it didn't happen. I, I guarantee you that. You know, but uh, uh, my I think my kids had a great experience in school. Whatever school they went to, very great experience. You know, but yeah, you know, bullying of any kind, you know, is not right. And you know, parents need to teach their children, even if a kid comes to school and it's not, you know. Fresh, and fresh, or don't have the right type of clothes on. That is not. I didn't send you there to school to bully anyone. You know, if a lot of parents would, you know, teach their children, that would not be tolerated. Cause I used to tell mine too, where nobody bullying you, you did not bully them. Cause you're gonna face consequences with me, and it won't gonna be pretty. But yeah, I never had no part of my kids bullying anyone, you know, but yeah. And then also too, so let's come to 2023. 20, I got a, uh, a free request from one of the guys, um, I'm not gonna say his name, from Holy Angel. Cause they have a um, page, you know, on Facebook. And, you know, they all reunited with each other. And there's a couple of them that I did. I didn't accept their friend request. I think my daughter accepted their friend request, you know, once they, you know, saw that I was on Facebook. But I don't, 
Um, and I never did it, but I never took them off anyway. I don't look at their page or anything like that. Kudos to them. I'm, I'm not mad about the situation, what happened. That's in the past, and you know. But it did shape my future a little bit. It is just that, you know, uh, I really don't, you know. Mm, I don't know. I don't tolerate, you know, nothing off of people. I, no, <laughs> you couldn't do that to me today. But, but anyway, uh, um, one of the guys that from my classroom, uh, he may not have done the bullying, but he was a part of it, you know, the snickering and the laughing. They you know, stood up and said it, they, you know, but and those was his buddies. So he, uh, you know, uh, messaged my daughter because he sent me a friend request. And I don't know if I ignored it or deleted it. I don't know. I, didn't, I don't want to be a part of that group. You know, I never felt welcome at that school. You know, it was terrible. I had a bad experience. But he uh, messaged my daughter, Lexi, and, you know, you know, saying that, you know, he wanted me to come on. You know, it was the class of 91, and, you know, and wanted me to join the page and all that. But my daughter sent the message, like, you know, no, I didn't, my mother don't want to be a part of that, which I don't. But, you know, I wish him all the best you know, in life. Um, some for the ones that was on my page, so like they're doing very well. You know, kudos to them. God bless them. But I will never be a part of something. And in that, I'm not holding no bitter, um, bitter, you know, ill feeling, you know, towards them, you know, um, people. You know, I wish them all the best, but I just learned to stay away from things that, you know, uh -uh, that caused me any type of agony. I don't get care with in the past or ever. You know, I'm, now you was my past and that's what you're gonna stay at. You're gonna remain there, you know. I don't need to bring none of that back to up to where I'm at. I'm already dealing with it uh, enough as it is, you know. So, no, I mean, that, I'm all good. And I wish them all, you know, the best in life. I really do. I wish them nothing but the best, you know. But, yeah, uh, so, you know, just to end this video, you know, parents, please, you know, teach your children not to bully others, you know. You know, because uh, you don't know how that would affect the child, even in their adulthood. You know, even though in the, it don't affect me now because I don't think about it. But I have you know, told my kids stories about my, you know, life, my childhood, you know, different things like that. But even though the young, the guy, he told me, come on to the page and you don't let everybody know how you feel. No, they should have known how I felt, you know. And I feel that he, you take it back. And maybe those people, they know who they are. You know, you can reach out to me. You know, but anyway, no, I don't want nobody to reach out to me. I just, you know, go on with your life. You guys having a grand time, you know, if that's what you're doing. But, you know, and y'all keep continuing, you know, with the Holy Angel, you know, page. And, you know, and be blessed, you know. But, yeah. Well, that's my story time for today. And I'm to, um, I'm Taurus T. And, um. Like I said, if you like my video, hit the um, like button, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I uh, upload another video. And guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, yeah, so I will be back and I'll um, do another uh, story time or vlogging or do something. Yeah, so... See you guys.